Musu for Prime Edition. And reproductive health and family planning still remain a key challenge towards population growth globally. A report by the United Nations released in commemoration of the World Population Day observed every 11th of July globally recommends enhanced awareness on various population issues such as the importance of family planning, gender equality, poverty, maternal health and human rights. The world's population now stands at 8 billion people, according to statistics from the United Nations. Reproductive health, however, is still a key challenge towards population growth with rise in infertility. Surrogacy, which for decades has in developed nations been viewed as an option for couples who cannot naturally have babies, is gradually gaining currency in Kenya. Lea Wanja Kimemia, a 30-year-old chief executive of a local interior design firm in Nakuru, describes her decision of deciding to be a surrogate mother. It was a very close family friend and uh, she was very desperate, getting to age day by day, years passed on and uh, she's getting to almost 40 years old and above and she didn't get her kid. She uh, has fertility issues and she's been struggling, struggling, struggling to get a baby. She has tried all procedures and she wouldn't get the baby and the only solution is someone to carry the baby for her. That is what inspired me. Even as Miss Kimemia opts to play surrogacy, she is alive to the fact that currently the laws and regulations regarding the procedure aren't very clear and this can be a problem for both donors and surrogates. The law to address the risks is that uh, come along with the pregnancy, let's say for example miscarriages, I might get pregnant and I miscarriage along the way. So what happens? Is the contract terminated? Contract law provides that you cannot make a contract of a human being, you know, that's a void contract. So although on the sides um, this has been happening, uh, the courts have been interpreting that just basically as a, as, as an, you know, willing, willing parties have come and agreed on something, but it, it's largely unregulated, which has an, a number of uh, consequences. 20,000. According to Dr. Justus Nundi, a consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist at Nectar Gynecology and Fertility Center in Nakuru, surrogacy is relatively new in Kenya, with the very first trend being in 2007. He says two out of ten couples in Kenya are affected by infertility, while three out of ten patients visiting health facilities in Nakuru have problems with conception. That's a very big number and it's really concerning us. In fact, the World Health Organization is seriously concerned about uh, the rates of infertility. And there's a general push to have uh, infertility treatment and its management um, anchored in um, a primary health care. Surrogacy has, however, elicit diverse opinions from religious leaders. The position of the church would not support a bill that is contrary, that or it is not right on matters of human dignity. Third party kwa Islam yu inakuwa ni haram. Yani a third party ya wezi chukua mimba ambo kwamba ni ya watu ingine. Hata yu inakuwa ni enye kuchanganya watu, watu wa wili. For Kimemia, however, all she can do is to wait for the opportunity to help her sister in distress. Jacqueline Masharia for Prime Edition.